गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी रिवाइज द चैप्टर नंबर थर्ड पॉलिटिकल साइंस एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज इलेक्शन एंड रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द डिस्क्राइब द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ द राइट टू वोट एंड वट इज मीन बाई द टर्म हेयर सिस्टम ऑफ रिप्रजेंटेशन and two stages of electoral process in india okay and students today we discuss about describe any two test of a good electoral system okay so students first one is first one is independence of election commission and the second one is check on the misuse of official machinery so what's the meaning of independence of election commission so students uh, if we want the successful electoral elections commission should be completely independent okay and the government should not have any control on the election commission second one is check on the misuse of official machinery uh, for the successful electoral system there should be checking on misuse of official machinery so that ruling party students ruling party that mean to say opposition party okay ruling party that mean to say opposition party does not get undue एडवांटेजेस इन दी इलेक्शन ओके सो ये बेटा आपके टू टेस्ट है जो गुड इलेक्ट्रल सिस्टम के लिए जो इनकी जो नीड है ओके ओके स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट इज हाउ डज द इलेक्शन कमीशन रिकॉग अ रीजनल पार्टी सो द इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया is a responsible for conducting free and fair elections in the country free and fair elections beta matlab koi corruptions na ho ye nahi hai ki jo jitne bhi representatives hai wo jo peoples hai jo voters hai unko matlab apni jo baaton mein laake bhi unse vote le le bilkul free and fair election hona chahiye matlab kisi type ki koi corruptions nahi honi chahiye so more over the election commission performs many functions one of the major function of the election commission is to provide recognition to the political parties okay and the election commission of india recognize a regional party okay on the basis of first one is the election commission takes the decision and declares that which political party is of the national level and which political party is of the regional level okay second one is the election commission has the power to see that the said political party is popular in its region or not and before providing recognition to a political party the election commission has to see the organization and membership of the party it also has to see whether the party is working according to the code of conducts given by election commission okay is that clear so next is write any four differences between first past the post system and proportional system of representation okay so first part the post system first is the country is divided into small geographical units called districts okay and the proportional system is first point is large geographical areas as constituencies and the entire country may be a single constituency okay first point a uh, second point regarding first past the post system every constituency elects one representative 
and the second point regarding proportional system is more than one representative may be elected from one constituencies okay so third point voters votes for a candidate and the proportional system voters vote for the party and the fourth point is a party regarding first past the post system vote a party may get more seats than votes in the legislature and proportional system every party gets seats in the legislature in proportional to the percentage of the votes that it gets okay and the fifth point is regarding first past the post system candidate who wins the election may not get majority like 50% plus 1 votes okay so like example uk and india in the proportional system candidate who wins the election gets majority of votes examples are israel and netherlands okay is that clear the points thanks have a nice day